uh, incredibly racist human beings talk about Clarence Thomas as if he isn't a black man. I, I don't understand how this is okay to even say out loud, but it's 2022, and if you don't speak rightly politically and you look a certain way, you're... You're a race traitor, according to them. Okay, let's let's listen. This is just ridiculous. You know, it's you could make past. the case that, that somebody like Amy Coney Barrett uh, was put in there because she's a white woman yeah. who they say, well, she'll go against abortion rights, and she's a woman. So that was deliberate, I think. Clarence T- Don't you love how uh, she used quotation marks when she talked about Amy, Amy Coney Barrett as a woman? Again. According to them, Clarence Thomas isn't a black man because he has different political opinions. And just like them, another protected class woman is Amy Cohen Barrett is a woman in quotations because she's not actually a woman because she espouses, uh, you know, more of a conservative leaning mindset. (sighs) These people are dehumanizing and devaluing people based on their political beliefs and it's unreal. It's just, I, how can you get away with saying this on national television? Like, you're not actually a woman because you're for, you're, you're pro-life. Therefore, your opinion is not very woman-y. Okay, I don't know. Let's keep listening. Thomas, a, a black guy, a black man, a justice. Clarence Thomas. A okay. Deliberate. Wait. Watch her do quotations for Clarence Thomas. I think Clarence Thomas, a a black guy, a black man, a justice. Okay, I'll give it to him. He's a smart guy. I'll give it to him. He's black. (laughs) But he is to the right of Attila the Hun, this guy. And they put him in there thinking, oh, a black man will go against voting rights, which is what he does. And it was. It's not voting rights, but yeah, I'll, I'll. I'll put up with your narrative talk. It's a terrible- and it's a very tricky business they're pulling over there when you think about it. Not to mention the fact that Mitch McConnell has no concept of the law when it comes to the Supreme they, Court. They know the law. Yeah. Mitch doesn't know the law, but she definitely does. Uh, they're oh. not following it. Well, they don't want to follow it. No, and it. he's that allowed to issue. not follow it. It's terribly it. disrespectful to appoint someone like Clarence <clears throat> Thomas with his philosophies to the seat of Thurgood Marshall. A civil- Look at her as she talks about Clarence Thomas with her eye, eyes down. That's her way of saying, like, I'm smarter than everyone here. Point someone like Clarence Thomas with his philosophies to the seat of Thurgood Marshall, a civil rights. I know. Yes. Gosh, yeah. And it was also with his wife right there. With, with, with his act- wife's activities, um, activities and, yeah. involving well, the yeah. insurrection. Yeah. Let's that's not even get into that because that's really the whole show. <laughs> and all we have to do is start. Again, if you look a certain way, if you look like Whoopi Goldberg, what do you have a political belief uh, like Clarence Thomas? You're not actually black to them. You're not African American. You're not black. You don't have blackness. And I guess now, if you're a woman and you espouse conservative beliefs, you're also not a woman. Now, how are these people allowed to say what? <laughs> we have an entire people of saying that like you're not allowed to critique me, like if I say I'm a male. That. That means you have to say my pronouns are he, him, and you have to accept me as a male. But then these people can go around saying you're not black or you're not a woman because you're. <laughs> it's like my, my brain is fried from listening to these types of people. They're so race. They're so like overtly racist and, they, and they're so consumed with their ideology and their belief system that they don't even see the irony at what they in which they talk about they can't they can't even see it it's honestly unbelievable it's it the the, the the idea that you have the power to take away someone's personhood or who they are like what they look like their, you know, their sexual orientation because of their political values and take away their personhood and say that they don't count. You don't count as a, a black appointee. They're going to make this Joe Biden appointee, this uh, black SCOTUS, 
of female SCOTUS. They'll they'll make it seem like it's the first black SCOTUS ever to be put forth. They'll make they will do that because this person will have the right they will think rightly. Just just that idea of thinking you have the authority to look at someone and say, I discredit you because you don't think rightly. You don't think how I think. You don't think how you're supposed to be. You're supposed to look this way. You're supposed to act this way, boy. It's, it's like, I, how do you not hear this? How do you not? How do you just take this? I don't understand how these leftists can pretend to be about equality and, and taking down racism. And at the same time, they espouse and they say this stuff out of their mouth. It's, I know people like are really offended when you talk about national divorce, but I just don't understand how we can live in a country where there's these mindsets. These people are, are outrageous. They're out of control. And then, <laughs> I don't know. Let me know your thoughts because I just, the idea of not uh, saying that saying Amy is not a woman or using quotations. She's like a fake woman she, or like Clarence Thomas is like a fake black man. God, it just makes me so freaking angry. Cause you know why this is what bigotry looks like. This is what it sounds like. And this is what, why you should be angry about it. It's not just a talk show. They're also talking about culture and people actually believe this crap. I didn't mean to get it this heated, but I just can't take racism on full display like this. People are just like, meh, whatever. That's a good point. Yeah. Amy's actually not a woman. But who am I going to say? I can't say anything. I'm just a white male, am I right? Shut up, white guy. You're dumb. 